next and today I'm reviewing the three of the August 1st Lego Star Wars Max that came out on August 1st. So these will be all mixed together reviewed in one video. And I start off with the first first set which is which is this one this one here. So this is the first set right here, which is Darth Vader Mac. It's set number 75368, has 100 donor pieces, one minifigure, and it retail for £30 or $16. So yeah, without further ado, let, let's get on to the minifigure first. So here is Darth Vader minifigure. The set is actually really good. Now, the only difference between the one and the other type armor set, which I'll explain in a minute, is the um, the cape piece is very different for some reason. But yeah, anyway, the... Um, Last day was the same, photo vision the same, and if you do the head, it'll be the same as type bomber set as well for some reason. I don't know why the cape is a bit different, but anyway, yeah, that's the main difference between these two flat faders. Other than that, he has a really, really good torture printing, and you look at the back, he has a battle vision as well, so yeah. Anyway, that's enough fader of this set. Let's get on to the mech. So here's the mech altogether, the mech, fully, fully built. It's actually pretty bulky, in a sense, because it's Darth Vader, but still. has a red lightsaber made out of two pieces, three pieces. has the arms, and this river uh, side and up and down. So you have this one here. And look at the back. And not much in the back. But, yeah. You can see the exposed studs, but that's, that's alright for me. So, yeah. It's actually a pretty good nice thing. There's, a, there's some printing here as well, it's pretty good. All the Star Wars sets, uh, they mix it up printing, so be prepared for that. Now, open this thing up to put the Vader inside, and you have to put him really carefully in there, otherwise his cape might get, might get crushed up. And let's see if I might get that as well. If you get this, let's see if it out of the way, by the way. Put the last out of the way, and then put this here, and Darth Vader will go in the mech. Quite cool, actually. It's actually really cool. I love that, by the way, in the mech sets. It's a bit ridiculous, sure, but yeah. Anyway, now let's now that's for the this set. Let's get on to the, let's go to the next mech set. Here's the next mech set, which is Boba Fett's mech. It has the highest piece count out of all the mech sets on August first. Is set number seven five three six nine has four hundred at uh, one hundred fifty nine pieces. One million figure it would tell for the same price thirty pounds and sixteen dollars. So let's get on to the movie Boba Fett movie first. Here's your Boba Fett minifigure, it's actually a really, really good printing all around, the minifigure, jeez. Even the back, which is covered, but uh, I don't want to take it off right now, because it's a really good minifigure. Side arm printing as well, all around. Printing the legs, and putting the helmet on the saucer as well, which is the helmet off. It's actually, actually a really good face print as well. No face print in the back, the printing in the back though, which is really good. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for this minifigure, apart from the fact that it's got a gun right here. We gun, but yeah, anyway, let's get, let's get on to the mech. And here is the mech. It's such a, it's a quite bulky as well. Next one, though, we've been extra bulky, but we'll get, get to that in a minute. Now, this is actually, actually a really, really good mech, because it's one of the best ones. One of the mechs I've ever built, honestly. Oh, it also has a feature, I'm feature where if you flick the rocket, it'll be like that, like this. Hang on, try this again. Come on, really? Okay, okay, I'll, 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 I'll do that later, trust me. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's make it together. If I can. Oops, sorry, flip the wheel. Anyway, let's see. There you go, that's better, yeah. But anyway, this is actually a really good mech build as well. The same arm run around, on to the side, up and down. And this one actually has a gun as well. So if you do this, it, it'll, it'll shoot, which is really quite cool. Cool, now. That's it for this both of them, man. I don't know much to say other than the, the, the printing. Let's get on to the last mech. Oh, and I forgot to say the um same thing with the mech. You have to you have to put this down and then put the effect in the mech right here like this. If I can, come on, there you go. Then he'll put it nicely if the gun will in the way. But you get, you get the point by now. But yeah, now let's get on to the um. Now it's making the set, making it mega this wave. And then is the Storage Trooper Mech, which has the lowest piece count out of all the mechs in this wave. It's got 138 pieces, set number 375370. And one of the we get retail for the, again, £30 and $16. So yeah, let's get on to the minifigure first, again. And here's the Storage Trooper minifigure. It's actually very different as well. 
except the fact that he can't, he can't she, she came into his sets because if you look at the film off, it's actually a female song which is quite interesting. Quite, quite interesting. This one here, look at that. That's, that's a nice face print right there. And the Stormtrooper helmet is a bigger as well. You can see it's got blank, blank. We've got all molding in there as well, it's really quite good. Got a gun, obviously, or blast rifle, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, pretty good printing here as well. Anyway, let's get on to the mech. Here is the mech mech. You see, it's the bulkiest out of all the Stormtroopers, makes sense, because Stormtrooper is, is, has a bulky armor, so it makes sense. But these right here are actually really, really good. We got building standings in here as well. Especially these um things right here. And I said it before, but these things are such a really good. These ones are really good. And again, like both of Meg, this one has one of these. So if you do it again, it, it loses something as well. That's really good this time, man, because it went behind the Stormtrooper Meg. Anyway, yeah. So to do this again, it won one last time. Put this right down there, then it will be easy to put this back here. And it actually fits this time around, which is really, really good. So, yeah, and put it in there as well. Let's get let's go to the final third act, shall we? So here are the awful mechs all together. Why well, are they in those two mechs? Three mechs. Well, Darth Vader is probably the worst one for me at least because it's got less, less detailing on its mechs. This one's actually the best one. This one is probably the second best one for me as well because. Most of are exclusives, except for this one, for some reason, which, which came in the magazine thing, I believe. So, yeah. What do you think of these sets together? Well, that's actually a really good mechs. The concept, sure, but they're cheap, cheap, especially in the UK. US, well, it's a different story, but anyway, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, and shortly. I'm back. Thanks for, thanks for watching, by the way, and I'll see you guys next time.